morning you beautiful souls and welcome to my channel midnight munchies and more my name is Sharice and today you guys we got starbies we're gonna try the new winter menu okay so I got two drinks two two of their new ones so let me see I don't even know I don't even know but I had to put them in my java sock because it's gonna take me a while to drink these do you feel me so I got to keep them cold. So I got a grande hazelnut oat milk iced shaken espresso. She's beautiful. I'm not usually a hazelnut guy, but we're going to give it a whirl. Then I got the pistachio cream cold brew. She's beautiful with pistachio cream cold foam on top. And we got our little Java socks. Okay, let me do a little thumbnail skadoodly do. Okay, pistachio cream cold brew. Let me try. Let's just give it a whirl. Hmm. Have I had this before? I feel like I've had this before. It seems a little lackluster. Oh, you know what? Let me put my glasses on, you guys. Oh, how's that? Better? It's pretty lackluster. I mean, it'll do the trick. It's got like the vanilla syrup in it, I believe. And then it's just the pistachio cream on top. So it's not like overloading with pistachio flavor. I don't know. I feel like I wanted more pistachio, right? I kind of wanted it to kick me in the face. And like, why are we doing this on top? Why don't we do like little, little pistachio crumble or something? I don't know. Like, give it a little pizzazz. Give it a little green. Give it a little pistache. You feel me? <laughs> it's just lackluster. You know what I mean? Um, now, this iced oat milk shaken espresso. Oh, you know what? I was gonna say maybe it's a little lackluster because it's the cold brew and I'm not a super huge fan of Starbucks's cold brew. I like the iced shaken espressos better. This is why I got the iced oat milk, the iced hazelnut oat milk shaken espresso to give this one a whirl. Again, I'm not really a hazelnut guy, but when in Rome, <laughs> so let's give this one a whirl. Mm -mm. It's, it's not good. <laughs> Listen, mm -mm. it's no, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's like the oat milk and the, the oat milk is such a strong flavor itself. And which is kind of a little bit of an acquired taste. And the hazelnut is a very strong flavor in and of itself that kind of, um, is an acquired taste. And then you put those two together don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. In fact, oh my gosh, could I be a ventriloquist? That was kind of iconic. Let's see if I can, I don't like it. Can you tell that I'm, can you tell that I'm talking with my mouth closed? Hello, I need a Charisse and I am tasting Starbucks today. <laughs> Am I a ventriloquist? Okay. <laughs> this is gross. <laughs> mm -mm. No, no, I don't like it. It's like, no, no, let's just, let's just move on, okay? A fork. Oh, I wonder if that's for the potato, okay. Potato and chive bake things. See, now they're all smushed. So I'm assuming that's what the fork is for, although we could just like pick it up with our hands. Listen, I'm so eager to try these because I've always been fascinated by the like egg bite things, but I don't really like the texture of it. It's too like fake eggy souffle -y. I don't know. I don't like that. So, put a bunch of potatoes and other crap in it and, like, sign me up. <laughs> you know a bitch loves carbs. They smell really good. Oh, my God. Let's see. Let's see. So, yeah. So, we got potatoes, eggs, some other crap, chives, I'm assuming. I don't know. Oh. Yup. That's the ticket. These are good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna eat this whole one. The chive of it all. Mmm. Wow. 10 out of 10. I will for sure get those again. And again. And again. That's so good. Okay. Wow. Bitch. How was your holidays? Tell me about it. Do you have New Year's resolutions? How was Christmas? What did you get? Tell me all the deets. I got a new phone, you guys. Not for Christmas. <laughs> Just as an aside, I got a new phone. Um, so I'm hoping this quality is better. We'll see. Because I can't see that far away right now. But it like, seems like smoother, right? Like as I move, because I talk with my hands. And like, I don't know, especially when I'm going to be doing the food and like mixing and stuff. It seems like a smoother transition. Um, I realized I hadn't gotten a phone for like, 
Well, I don't want to say. Listen, my phone was so old that when I went to do like the trade-in, they're like, no, you can't trade in your phone for a discount. It's too old, ma'am. And I was like, oh, so that's all why all my content sucked. Got it. So now hopefully it should be better content. So you have to let me know if this is better. Um, I got a couple new things. I'm trying to start like a new vibe for my videos. I'm so excited for my food videos. Um, and then I'm going to go today. Actually, I'm going to the dollar store. That's where we are near here right now to shop for some Valentine's Day stuff. Are you so excited? Why is this like this side of my hair is like beautiful. And then this side's like frizzalicious. That's okay. What else do we have? Oh yeah. Okay. So I'm going to save this one for last because I'm so excited. I got this. Hold on. What's it called? Ch chicky, chicky maple butter sandwich. It looks lackluster. Like, it's just like, I don't know if there's even any cheese on it. It's just like chicken and an egg and maple butter. I mean, it smells good. It smells maple syrupy. And like, you can see it's like saturated in syrup. Um, it looks like lame, but mm, let's just try. Yeah, it's lame. Mm -mm. I mean, it's not bad. It's just like a really shitty frozen chicken patty. And an egg with like maple and butter. That's not great. I knew it. I knew it wasn't going to be good, but we had to try it. I'll save it for Greg. He might like it. I don't know. It's edible. Like if somebody gave it to me and I was starving, I'd eat it. So I guess I'd give it like a three or a four maybe out of ten. This is growing on me a little bit. The hazelnut one is a big fat zero for me. I could have done without the topping on top of this one. But I mean, the cold foam tastes a little pistachio -y. It's vanilla. It's just so lackluster. And last but not least, the vanilla bean custard danish. Vanilla bean custard danish, I believe it's called. I love their cheese danishes. I am a puff pastry hoochie mama. I love anything in a puff pastry. I love a danish. I love all the things. So let's give this a whirl. I'm going to kind of break it though because I want to get to the innards. You know what I mean? I mean, it's okay. <laughs> You know what? Just get the regular cheese danish. No. It's not that great. The texture of the custardy part, that ain't it. Am I a crazy person? Don't answer that. Like, am I the only one who doesn't like a lot of the new things they bring out? Is that, like, normal? Is this a normal thing? But I know the rest sucks. I'm gonna finish these potatoes, okay? I'm just gonna finish them right up because they're so good. My friend Bernadette said, she sent me this um, recipe and she was like, bitch, this is so good. And I was like, what? It's like a chicken tortellini casserole type vibe. You just use like rotisserie chicken. Like we love easy. Um, but she said the tortellini from Aldi she used and it was really good. So we're going to go to Aldi, get our, our, as many ingredients as we can there that we don't already have. And I'm going to make that video. You're going to want to subscribe. Just, I don't know if I've said it to you guys enough, but thank you for being here, right? I could not do this without you guys, right? And not just like, Oh, because you give me the views, like, cute. Obviously, I love that. <laughs> but I just, when you guys, like, comment on my stuff and we get to have back and forth on, like, social media, which, by the way, you should totally follow me on, like, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. I'm on all the things. Go ahead and give them all a follow. But when I get to talk to you guys and, like, have conversations, you guys are all so nice. And, like, I just love, like, like my friend Bernadette, like she's sending me the recipe. Like I love when you guys give me your insight on like different things and different foods to try, different recipes to try. And like, I just love creating this like community with you guys. So I just really wanted to say like, thank you so much for being here, right? Because life like sucks sometimes, right? Like life can be like really hard. But when we create this like community together, it makes it seem a little bit more bearable. You know what I mean? These are so good. I was thinking about making like um, cause you know, once I try like their new stuff, their new menu items, I'm like, okay, how can I make it better? <laughs> so I'm probably going to try, um, like making an iced shaken espresso, but using the pistachio sauce and like, speaking of which, why wouldn't they put the pistachio sauce in here? Now that I'm thinking about it, this is made with vanilla. I swear to God, I looked at the thing. And it's made with vanilla syrup in it and then the pistachio cream cold foam on top. But they have a pistachio sauce. Hello? That just occurred to me. Why wouldn't they put that in there? That's weird. 
So I'm gonna mess with like a ratio of like an ice shake and espresso and do some of the like pistachio cold brews and pistachio. So I'll see if we can make a better pistachio version. Um, this is definitely better than hazelnut. I think that's the only reason why I'm like taking on it right now because obviously I ain't drink. Mm -mm. Who wants it? Listen, look, and my lid came up. Who wants this one? <laughs> Who wants uh, who wants this? I'll mail it to you. Okay, listen. If we put if we keep it in the Java sock, it might make it cold. I'll mail it. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of which, if you use my code Midnight Munchies for two Java socks, you get thirty percent off until I believe it's the twenty third of January. They're having a deal, so and it's my code. Use my code Midnight Munchies. Please use my code Midnight Munchies. Disclaimer: I do make a commission, but if you buy two Java socks, which you need, you need them. Like they go together, like hand in hand. I just ordered more. I ordered one for Greg because he. Do you remember he asked for a hot one? I'll show you because I had to get one for my homemade iced coffee. Okay, but if you use my code Midnight Munchies, you get thirty percent off two Java socks, and they have like sales. I'm pretty sure it's a. It's like you can use it on the sale items too. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some kind of value in it. I hope um, now you know what to get and what not to get at Starbucks for their winter menu. Um, thank you so much for joining me. And I love you so much. And I'm wishing you all the happiness and love in the world today. And I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.